doing very very well it is a gorgeous Sunday here we have the windows open and lots of kids are outside wearing shorts I feel like the good weather is finally here and it's just lifting everybody's mood a little bit which is really really nice I'm not really keeping track of how many weeks we've been self quarantining but I think we're over nine weeks now I'm not too sure and I have just been on the go for so many weeks preparing for a really big update on May 1st and then I did a big leather update a week ago 
and I decided to take a few days this week just to kind of catch my breath and reset my batteries a little bit and I feel so much better. I'm kind of one of those people when I have projects and work, I let all of the daily stuff go and it's just the way I am. I've always been like that. I go full force and then at the end of it, I kind of am exhausted and have to pick up all the pieces again. So I've been doing that this week. It's been really, really nice. I hadn't been knitting or I hadn't picked up my journals and planners for a little while. So I've been doing that this weekend and a few other little projects. Um, cleaned out my closet again. We've been purging so much stuff in the house. It's kind of funny. I feel like the first few years when we bought our house and it was brand new, it was just spent, our time was spent trying to fill it up, get all the furniture pieces in all the corners and hang up all the artwork and do all the things in the house. And 15 or 16 years later, I kind of wish it was half empty. I don't know. I guess because we're all home, the more empty space we have, the more I feel I can think and breathe. So I've been kind of looking around the house and trying to clear out corners and things that have felt a little bit cluttered. So that's been really nice. And we have a trailer, really nice um, camp camper. And Glenn brought it home from the storage facility. When was it? Was it last week? Maybe last week. So he has been spending this weekend cleaning it out. I'm gonna go outside and see if he needs any help with it and just see what's going on outside. I can hear his music playing. And I think the rest of the day, I am just going to pick up some of the little pieces I've left from all of my projects this week, my cleaning out of closets. I've got donation bags to kind of gather up and just do all the little things to prepare for a really good week ahead. Before I head outside, I thought I would share one of my favorite things because I just walked past them. I got these new hair clips in the mail um, earlier in the week. They're from Anthropology, And this is my new favorite style of hair clip. I just love them. I had found this set last year and only had two. And I felt like I needed some more because these are so good. I need a haircut really, really badly and it helps um, to hold back little bits of hair or clip the front back. And I just think they're really, really pretty and cute. It's already 4.30. I've had a really nice day, lots of relaxing. I did have to run out to the grocery store because I was missing something for a key ingredient for dinner tonight. So I ended up just going and getting a few things to stock the pantry and um, hopefully I won't have to go back for a while. I've just made myself a second cup of coffee for the day. And I was kind of organizing all of my stuff and thought I would share what I decided to pick up and knit on after my little break because I, I didn't really knit for a little while. I'm still working on my Vertices Unite shawl, which I love, but it's really big and I think I just needed a break. So I picked up my Felix sweater. I'm really, really enjoying this now that I've gotten back into it. I'm using the Joe Sharp Silk Road Aran Tweed. The color is licorice, which I really, really love and I'm just about done the first ball. And I made quite a bit of progress. I started this or picked it back up yesterday. I did quite a bit last night and a little bit this morning um, and I'm going to sit with it after dinner too. I'm really, really loving this pattern. 
It's not difficult. It's just I'm on the um, the raglan increases and I just have to watch what row I am on because I almost messed up once or twice, not paying attention, but I can really see the beautiful, um, that beautiful pattern that's coming out on the raglan seams. It's really, really nice. And it's going very, very quickly. It's Aran weight, so I think it's going to be a quick knit. I'm really enjoying it. I absolutely love this color. I know that this sweater in black will be a staple in my wardrobe. So that's what I've been knitting. I thought I would share something that I made last week. I had been posting about it on Instagram. This is my iPad, which I love. I bring it all over the house with me. And I really wanted a new case for my iPad. It's just a sleeve, so it will keep it protected. It's got a Velcro closure. This is the quilted, I think it's called the quilted laptop sleeve, but you can customize it for whatever measurements your device or your devices. It's from the Pearl Soho website. I made a laptop sleeve, um, I don't know, it could have been like eight or nine years ago and I loved it. It has handles on it. And so I knew I wanted to make one and I finally got around to doing it. The story about this is I completed one. It was beautiful. I took pictures of it. I posted it on Instagram and then I went to touch it up with my iron and my iron just oozed all of this brown gunk all over the canvas. The water came out and stained it. It was pretty bad. It was all over the canvas. So first I hand washed it, tried to get it out. Didn't really work. I had to pop it in the washing machine. I put it on a, like a hand wash cycle with cool water and I laid it out to dry. The stain came out, but the actual canvas and padding shrunk while this part didn't, so it was horrible. It was a mess. I had to redo it, but I love it so much that I just did it. Um, this is the canvas I use on my um, project bags. This is a beautiful chambray that I used to be able to use for my project bags too, but it's been discontinued. And I made a bias tape with this gorgeous Liberty of London print that I had. So it's got a large pocket on the front, it's got two little pockets on this side and it's quilted and I really love it. One more thing that I really wanted to share with you is this bag that I recently set up to be a planner, journal, supplies bag that I can take anywhere with me in the house. The idea was that I'd be able to journal in the backyard because the weather is so beautiful but we still have so many of those tiny little bugs everywhere that it's it's impossible. I can't go back there yet. Um, but I have taken it up to my room a few times this week. I've taken it to the couch with me. It is the perfect carry around bag with pretty much everything I need. So I shared um, I shared a what's in my bag on my Instagram stories. I think it's saved under the um, the document folder because I have a few things for documenting there. I won't show everything that's in here again, but it's a fringe supply company bag. It's the town bag. It is a knitting project bag that I love. I have a couple of other colors that I use for knitting projects. They're really a great large bag, but I had this one that I got most recently and I love the olive color. And I just kind of thought this might make a really good bag with all the pockets to put my journaling supplies in and it's working out great. So I've got um, some stickers and scissors and pens and things in here, but basically it's to carry my planner, my gratitude journal and um, like a smaller notebook that I'm using, kind of like a brain dump and to-do list book. It's just whatever I feel like. I've got um, one of my leather pouches in here that has most of my like everyday journaling pens and stuff. I'm really, really loving it. And I'm also obsessed with my small pouches for grouping little things. So I don't always keep them in this bag, but if I know that I wanna do something with color, I can come and get whatever pouch I want. So I think this one has um, 
markers in it. This one has pencil crayons that I love. And this one I just kind of started setting up because I just got a few new pens and a new pencil and a few things from Wonder Pens. They just arrived today actually. And I'd like to try them out. So I just put them in here so that I can take some time and try everything out this week. So that is something I have been totally loving. It's helping me get back into using my planner again and doing a little bit of journaling, which has been really nice. I don't know. I felt like I got away from it because I didn't really need to use my planner for a while, but I'm really happy I'm getting back into it. I'm pretty pleased with myself that I did not cast on something new this weekend. Instead, I decided to pick up my Felix sweater and push through that a little bit. But that doesn't mean I don't have some dream knitting projects in my mind. Here are a couple of them. I am getting so excited thinking about new projects. The first one is the Hipster Shawl by Hohi Locatelli. I've been wanting to make that for a really long time. And so I picked out this gorgeous yarn from Christina's shop, Chelsea Yarns. It's the Chelsea Lux DK, and the color is Sunflower, which is one of my favorite colors that she dyes. So I ordered that a little while ago. I think it will make the perfect hipster shawl. I cannot wait for that. Hopefully have that by fall. And I'm just thinking about other summer knits, um, things that I would really like to wear. And I recently found this project. It is by Pip and Pin. It's called the Kala. It is this beautiful textured lace crop top. I wouldn't do it too cropped, but it has a really pretty, I don't want to show the pattern, but there's a really pretty um, textured panel at the top here. You can see. And I was just looking through my stash because I think it only takes two skeins of fingering. And there are so many I would like to make, so many colors, but I found this. Um, it's by Annie Perrin from Montreal. Hi, Annie. And this is her Monkland base. It's beautiful. It's really soft and the color is Mad Max. So I think this one might make a really pretty Kala crop top. So those are some dream knitting projects I'm holding off, but doesn't stop me from dreaming.